In a world of opportunities, success has many paths. Let's explore the journey of community college students and break the stigma surrounding their choices. Myth number 1.237. The reason students attend community college is because they couldn't get into a university. I think that's a lie. That's not true at all. Uh, I could definitely get into a, a big university. Let me think about that. Um, I am definitely not here because I can't get into university. I think that's a myth. <laughs> the community college fit my schedule much better than a university schedule would. I was going to university first and then I came here. I did get into a university. But I chose to come here. But I chose to come to CWI. But I chose not to go there. It's closer to where I live, it's cheaper. And if the classes are going to be equivalent, it just to me it makes sense. No, this is the only place I applied to. CWI is half the tuition, same classes, they all transfer. And I didn't want to go into a classroom with 300 people. Here, you get 50 people, you get one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers. So it makes it a lot easier to learn and understand everything. The reason students attend community college is because they couldn't get into a university. That's a bunch of malarkey. With good affordability, low class size, and campuses close to home, it's no wonder why more students are choosing community college. According to a Department of Education blog, nearly half of community college students will transfer to a four-year institution. Of those students that transfer, on average, more than two-thirds will graduate, and according to the schools, sometimes up to 90% of students will graduate with a four-year degree. Myth number 9.654. Community colleges do not have an active campus life. That's a lie. Lie, lie. They've been lying to you. <laughs> there's a, definitely a campus life here. Yeah, I'm a part of the speech and debate team, so there's a big uh, community there. There's the media club, psychology club, Q&A club. They do a lot of fun stuff. I play sports. Basketball, cat's cradle, soccer, hopscotch, frisbee, hacky sack, video games, dance, knitting, lacrosse, volleyball. The community here is a lot smaller, but it makes you become closer to the people. It's a very mellow vibe everywhere. Everywhere you go, in the classroom, uh, in the computer labs study. It's, just, it's a mellow vibe. I went to a rave a couple of weeks ago. Their campus life is awesome. There's so many opportunities for me to get out and meet people and do things, you know. It was a lot of fun for me to just get out and do things that normally I wasn't able to do in high school. Community colleges do not have an active campus life. You have been misinformed. With student activities, clubs, and varsity athletics, Community College has a wide range of student activities and a robust student life. Many student athletes transfer from junior college to NCAA Division I. Some of these players even become megastars, like NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who first played at Butte College in California before being recruited by the University of Cal Berkeley and later having a career with the Green Bay Packers and New York Jets. According to the Community College Research Center, 21st century skilled jobs are changing. The reliance on technology and the increased complexity of entry-level jobs means that job-ready workers are needed more than ever. Community colleges across the country have created work readiness programs to achieve just that. Julian Linares is finishing the two-year industrial design program at LaGuardia Community College with a new set of skills. They have taught me how to build a portfolio, how to analyze situations and think critically. Full-time tuition here is less than $5,000 a year, a fraction of the cost compared to a four-year college. We're in like one of our main assets here in the division, which is our fabrication lab. Mark Healy and is in charge of continuing education and says LaGuardia prepares students to walk out the door and into jobs in 70 different fields. That includes emergency technicians, plumbers, and computer scientists. I think this is a, a great opportunity for folks to realize that community colleges now are sort of the backbone of many major cities. 
Tom Brock researches community colleges at Columbia University. He says graduates of a four-year college have the greatest earning potential, but that's not the best option for all students. Some students, they really want to get out into the workforce quickly. Uh, maybe they have a family to support. They're not interested particularly in uh, philosophy or in theory, but they want to learn skills that they can quickly put to use in the job market. Linares graduates this month with his associate degree. He says he's found his passion in design and plans to continue his education before launching a career. The Gross Montquia Maca Community College District is now offering new courses to help those seeking new skills for a way up. If you're willing to um, you know, make that commitment for one semester, you can have a brand new uh, set of skills and be employed in a new field. Dr. Javier Ayala, Dean of Grossmont College's Career and Workforce Development, highlights some of the school's most popular program offerings. First responder training and education. So folks who are wanting to pursue paramedics, uh, uh, fire science, administration and justice, those programs are in high demand. Then there's the course on cybersecurity. Educate individuals and train people to set up uh, firewalls, to respond to hacking uh, events and set up secure systems. Classes on data science and manufacturing are also in high demand, as some last eight weeks and others 16 weeks, hoping to give opportunities earning forty to $60,000 a year, while classes cost only $46 per credit cost saving at this time for lots of individuals. Classes from accounting to culinary arts and computer programming, all in the career, technical education and workforce courses. As it's currently an open enrollment, Grossmont College student Andrew Oskanian is ready. Nobody expected this to happen, you know, and, and uh, but I think that the transition has been, like I mentioned, very smooth. He'll be applying for pharmacy school soon and appreciates the skilled class offerings his school has for those out of work. I think that's one of the key features of the CTE program is having those hands-on skills and knowledge to be able to set you apart from others whenever you're applying for jobs in the future. With low cost, convenient access, and in-demand fields, the community college is an efficient way to equip yourself with the skills that will run the next generation of work. You honestly get the same degree as you go to university, so it's more affordable, uh, class sizes are more well managed. I've often found that the teachers are actually much more attentive and the class sizes are smaller. I chose specifically Scottsdale Community College because they have one of the best film programs in the country, despite being a community college. A lot of times when people ask how you get started doing a specific thing, I say the first place I'd go is a local community college and see if they have classes that offer you what you need. Like if you want to learn how to weld, you can do that here. If you want to learn how to work ceramics, you can do that here. If you want to improve math skills, you can do that here. I think that the community colleges offer an awful lot and they don't really get a lot of credit for what they do. I think for somebody who wants to follow on to a university degree or another college someplace else, this is a great way to get your first two years out of the way and put a bunch of money in your pocket. It was the more affordable option and everything is very friendly and they have the career opportunity that I really sought after and uh, they made it happen for me. The world of opportunity is yours and your future starts today. Consider community college and help fight the stigma. Thank you.